I have a few blemishes which I need to cover up but I'm still going to be using my BB cream. I'm going to be applying this on the back of my hand and then today I'm actually going to be using a brush. I don't know what came over me, I just felt like using one. But I'm also going to be using my fingers to blend out the BB cream, especially over the little spots that I have around my eye and my mouth. Once that's blended out, then I'm going to go ahead and move on to a white foundation, but I won't be using just the white foundation. I'm going to be mixing it 50-50 with the BB cream and the white foundation, just so that I get a much lighter version of my own skin tone, but not so white that it's going to make me look like I glow in the dark. And I'm mainly going to focus this on the T-zone and all the centre parts of my face and then blend it out. And this should give you a very ghostly look to your face without you looking like you just jumped into a vat of powder that I'm going to create a little bit of a grey gradient on my eyebrows. I'm going to be using a cream at first in between the two eyebrows, blending it out with my finger and then taking a spoolie to slowly run that colour through. With whatever's left after I've done that little gradient, what I'm going to do is also apply some colour just underneath the arch of the brow as well and I'm going to be blending that out with my finger. Then I'm also going to take that white and go over the upper lip and blend it out. And then if you want to, for the eyebrows, what you can do is alternate between a cream or a white foundation. Just use what you have to hand, really. And then I'm going to be using that same white foundation and putting it on the lower lashes. And I know this does make my eyes look a little bit strange, but that's okay. Then we're going to take a primer, apply it all over the lids, and then right down the centre of the lid, I'm going to be using metallic mint green, applying that right down the centre and then blending out the edges. Now for the brow bone what I'm going to be using is a blue colour. I'm going to start underneath the arch of the brow and then you're going to bring that down and around all the way onto the top of your cheekbones in a C shape. Blend it out and then we're going to be moving on to a silver colour. This is going to go on the cupid's bow and then in a curved shape on the brow before taking a pink colour right down the centre of the nose. Now for the eyeliner I don't want to use a pure black because everything else is so pale and muted it's going to look a little bit odd if I use this really dark black. So instead what I'm going to be doing is using a charcoal and what you want to do here is you want to dabble it on. It's not going to look like eyeliner which is neat and perfect. If anything what you want to do is make it look like eyeliner that was once neat but then got blown away. So apply the little dots and then add the little details to make it look a little more wispy. Then going back to the silver, I'm going to be applying that on the inner corner of the eye and then also just underneath on the lower lip, do a little light wash of that before applying some false lashes. Now I've made these and I will have a tutorial on them soon. So I'm going to be applying the false lashes and then take a pink colour just on the lower lip. And then I'm going to blend that out into a bleed and with that exact same colour what I'm going to be doing is actually using this for my eyebrows. I'm going to start at the arch of the brow and then I'm going to bring that down underneath to the bottom of the eyebrow because otherwise it will look a little bit odd if it's only focused on the arch. So try and bring that colour in underneath the eyebrow. And that's it. You're done.